In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to optimize your breakfast. My name is Mark Tobri, founder of Enterprise Fitness. First, let's talk about the history of breakfast. Breakfast really comes from the word breaking the fast. So breaking the fast means that you've obviously been asleep for eight, maybe 10 hours, depending on how long you sleep. And breakfast is the first meal of the day. For history, it has been touted as the most important meal of the day up until recently, where you had the new wave of biohackers and intermittent fasters say that really skipping breakfast is a way to optimize your brain. So who's right? Both have research and evidence to say that their way is best from people who eat breakfast having better satiety and better energy levels throughout the day to people who skip breakfast claiming that brain function and their blood glucose levels are better. Suppose in that there is research to support both. So this is where it really becomes about the individual's way and preference and also goals. In my history, in my experience of working with hundreds, if not thousands of high level people, I found that you definitely want to eat breakfast. What breakfast does is it sets up a routine and it really is the first meal of the day that you have complete control over. You have control over the food that you have in your house, hopefully, and you're not at the whims where you, know, you're, you don't have food with you, didn't prepare your food, or you're at someone's house and you couldn't prepare it. You're able to, to eat exactly what you want at breakfast. So let's talk breakfast ideas. What are the best breakfasts? Well, certainly you want to eat a high protein breakfast, not a breakfast that is going to be very high in carbohydrate. Now, the reason why I say that it was my, one of my mentors, Charles Pollock, will always say, you know, uh, what you eat first thing in the morning will set up your neural chemistry, your brain chemistry for the, uh, for the entire day. So what does that mean? If you eat a higher protein breakfast, let's say you get in tyrosine, which is an amino acid found, particularly in red meat, it's going to increase the amount of dopamine, uh, spike the amount of dopamine you have in your brain, which is very, very beneficial for helping um, ambition and going and, and I suppose capturing the day, seizing the day. If the first thing you eat is let's say Pop-Tarts and lots of sugar, you're much more likely to spike insulin, which is gonna spike, or sorry, spike blood sugar, which then spikes insulin, which in turn will create a lot of serotonin in the brain, which will make you feel really good for short term, but really kill that motivation, that drive that you're looking to go out and get the day. So my recommendation is, you know, either eggs, meat, white meat, fish, whatever, as long as it's a good quality source of protein, my preference on a daily basis really is eggs. And again, is that to say you should abstain from carbohydrate completely from breakfast? Well, certainly not, but it needs to be considered in a much uh, more of a spectrum of a plan because if you don't train first thing in the morning, then potentially you have a high protein breakfast with some vegetables. If you're gonna go out and get training first thing in the morning and depending on how lean you are and what your goals are, potentially you choose a lower glycemic carbohydrate source like say red rice or uh, potentially um, quinoa or sweet potato or pumpkin. Again, very dependent upon your goals and where you're at body fat wise. So there are my uh, breakfast top tips. I hope you have enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and leave a comment. Let me know, what do you have for breakfast? What would you like to see us do videos on? What breakfast potentially would you like to see us make in the Enterprise Fitness Kitchen? Till next time, folks, train hard, eat well, and supplement smart.